Before I tell you how I came to be in possession of this here five-string Bakelite banjo, I need to tell you about the journey of the banjo you've heard countless other times, the one that warns you that these stories are coming on again. Now that banjo was built almost 50 years ago by my good friend Frank Adams, who seasoned it for about 20 years before he gave it to me. He said he didn't play very much anymore and wanted me to have it. Well, I never look a gift banjo in the fret, so I took it home and I've played it ever since. I played it at Frankie's memorial service a few years later, and ever since then, well, it's kind of been that old friend to me that he was. That was until the other day when I was able to place that Marumsco special five string into the capable hands of Hunter Adams, Frankie's grandson. Now, any string picker will confirm that Article 42, Section 21 of the Picker's Code prescribes that five-string banjos are family property, especially if the grandpappy in question built it, which Frankie did. Well, I wasn't worried one bit about being out of banjo. The universe is always good for what you need if you're a giving person. So I asked my good friend Charlie Lynch, the most giving person I know, if he knew of any homeless banjos, and sure enough, he loaned me two. The other one was okay, but that Bakelite banjo is just dying to make some music. So now my honorable grandson Joshua is playing his grandfather's guitar, and my honorable nephew Hunter is picking at his grandpa's banjo, and for once it seems to me that the world makes sense again. How about that? I always believe in that things will turn out just fine. This is Charles Paparella for WBOC News.